All right, guys, welcome back to the channel. I have an update on the BYD battery project. Stay tuned. Now, I've gone ahead and opened up the cover here as well as the side of the battery and labeled all the positive sides of the battery. So I start off actually with negative one, plus one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. And then number eight is the main positive output. Negative one is the main uh, negative output. And it actually wraps around the battery and it comes out to this pulse right there. Now, as you can see here, I've gone ahead and riveted on balanced leads. This is so I can work with a BMS or a balancer or just check the voltages of each cell. Done it also on this side too. I just have a temporary setup here with the balance lines. They're running up to this bus bar and then out of the bus bar I'm running into a cell uh, meter checker. So I can just check the voltages while I'm working on the battery. Right now just in the testing phase for the project. Now I'm using a step up voltage regulator. This is the Drock model and it's up to 10 amps of power. I'm not gonna use 10 amps of power to put into battery, but just a few amps at a time to go ahead and test out all the cells. These are the bus bar terminals. I went ahead and did DIY style. These are based on David Paz's design. Check out his website, I'll leave the link below. He's been really helpful for the DIY community with his channel and his work on his BYD batteries and his project. My design's a little bit different. I did the slit up the side and use holes clamps. And again, I'll show you a more in-depth video on this at a later date. I also 3D printed a cover I designed for the battery terminal. This just adds an extra element of protection. I'm gonna make one for each side. Also using my bench power supply, I have it set up for four amps of draw go ahead and power that to boost converter down here. Taking a look at the voltage on my cell meter, you can see that the overall voltage is 25.56. The battery's not currently being charged right now, it's just at rest. And if we take a look at each individual cell, things are looking pretty good, or so it seems. First uh, cell is 3.3, going through they're all pretty close to 3.3. This one is close to 3.3. So one would think that the battery's in pretty good shape, but unfortunately, when I charged up the entire pack here, the first cell got to 3.6 pretty quickly, while the rest of the cells were still hanging around 3.3 or 3.4. So that's a concern here. That means I really need to balance this battery, either do a bottom balance or do a top balance, and I need additional gear. Now I've gone ahead and picked up a Chargery BMS, it's the Model 8T, and that's going to allow the uh, cells to balance, and for example, the first cell is too high at 3.6, it's going to maintain that 3.6 while the rest of the cells come up to the uh, proper voltage when we're fully charging the battery. So while I'm waiting for the BMS to arrive, it's coming from uh, overseas here, it could take up to three weeks. I'm going to go ahead and try to bottom balance these cells and even out the voltages. Alright guys, so that's where I'm at with the project here. Taking my time, figuring things out, uh, making sure all the cells are properly charging and discharging and have the right voltages and so forth and uh, getting the right gear. So it's taking a little time. Uh, I got all winter to work on this. I want to deploy these batteries later on in the spring for my 
cool project. All right guys, so there we go. Just a quick update on these BYD batteries where I'm at in the project. You know, buying used batteries, it's sort of a mixed bag. You never know what you're gonna get. It is what it is, they are used batteries, so it's kind of what I expected. All right guys, thanks for watching. Please like, subscribe, leave a comment, ask a question, share this video, hit that notification bell, and be sure to come on back for more videos.